Happy Friday, Centennial Cougars. I'm Katherine Ligon. And I'm Christian Rivera. Thanks for joining us. This week, Centennial is celebrating diversity. A new mural on the wall in the circle is embracing the fact that Centennial is the most diverse school in Williamson County. You can see it has hearts painted with all different shades of skin tones and includes a message that you belong here. We went out to talk to the artists and get reactions from the students. I'm here with Vivian, Ariel, Graves, and we're going to be talking about this mural behind us. Uh, why don't y'all tell us about the mural? Um, it's supposed to be talking about how um, no matter like what your race or what you look like, you belong here at Centennial. And uh, yeah, that's kind of like the, what do y'all think the message of it is? The message is, you know, trying to say, like, it doesn't matter where you come from, who you are, you all belong here, and it's a really important message to send because some people may not feel like that, so it's important to know that you do belong here. Is there anything else y'all want us to know about the mural? Um, it's basically just to, like, not, like, hide who you are and just know there's people who are like you in here and you just have to be yourself. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Julie and Christiana. All right, and we're standing in front of our new mural. Uh, so what are your opinions on the new mural? Um, I really like it. I think it's unique and it adds like a special touch to our school. Okay, uh, what are your opinions on it? Um, I also like want to bounce off of what she said and I really like the message. What do you think you belong here means? Um, just like with Suicide Prevention Month being a thing, I think it's just like a, you know, a message just kind of like you belong on this earth, like you matter. Um, I really like it. I think it shows how inclusive Centennial is and I think it's beautiful and we should have more. All right, I'm here with Jose Ortiz. All right, Jose, and we're standing in front of our new mural. What are your opinions on it? I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I feel like it shows that we are, uh, like we have a wide variety of races here so that's pretty cool. okay and do you have uh any thoughts on what you belong here means uh no what does it mean this has been a huge season for the girls soccer team here at chs the varsity team just went all the way to the district championship game this past Thursday, the girls' soccer team season wrapped up. The team went to the district championship. This was the first time in 15 years they had accomplished this feat. The road to the championship was very difficult. The Lady Cougars first went up against Independence. The game went back and forth, but with three minutes left, it was tied 2-2. Two to two. Anna DeStefano scored in the last 37 seconds to put CHS ahead to win the game 3-2. to two. The semifinals game against our rivals, Franklin, was equally as nail biting With just five minutes left, Sophomore Reagan Gentile scored the game-winning goal, sending the Cougars to play the defending champions, Ravenwood High School, for the championship. The girls fought hard but fell short of the trophy. The team finished with a 10-4 record. A huge congratulations to four girls on the team who made all districts, sophomore Jenna Drobany, and seniors Lindy Hash, Sydney Niehoff, and Megan Carlson. Congrats on a great season, ladies. We went out to talk to some of the team members about this season's accomplishments. How do you guys feel the season went this year? Um, pretty good. I mean, we got really far and we got further than we did last year and we got a lot better, so that was good. Good. It was really good. Were you guys surprised that you made it to the district championship? Yeah, we were really surprised. After we beat Franklin, we were just like so happy and I think all the hard work definitely paid off. What are you guys going to miss about the season? Um, it's really fun playing every day with all your friends and like games, but we have next year, so. Okay, thank you guys. This has also been a huge week for the CHS hockey team. They're on a winning streak. All right, I'm here with Thomas, Liam, Landon, Dylan, Clay. What do you guys think about the game on Monday? You know, we're just absolutely way better than them. They're not very good. They got no one. You got me on the team. There's no way we're losing, so. I was I didn't score and all, but you know I was ripping passes. Nathan he scored, so pretty much a bunch of beauties all game. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, they're kind of dust. Um, we're we're just better than them. Just uh, absolute great effort by the boys. I love, you know, I just love the respect, love the hustle, love the game. Uh, yeah, I just ripped a couple of shots, hit a couple of boys, and it's a good game. What do you guys think about the game coming up on Friday? Blackman absolute trash. It's gonna be 15 to nothing. 
Yeah, uh, Blackman. I think they have like half a player on their team. Coming in the third period, the Cougars trailed by three to one, but railed back beginning with a power play goal by Nathan Cyphers, followed by a rocket shot by junior Thomas Verbal. The snuck under the crossbar, coming down the wing to tie the game and leading to the last second goal. Next week, there'll be a canned food drive here at CHS. It's all part of Red Ribbon Week. I am Connor Phillips, and this is... Ashley Higgins, your STARS counselor. And I'm Kate Morris, the STARS therapist. What is Red Ribbon Week? So Red Ribbon Week is actually a national drug prevention and awareness week. And so we're focusing on educating people so they can make healthy decisions for themselves. Um, so that's what we're doing here this week. And I see you have some spirit days. Tell me about those. Yeah, so actually um, we wanted to do something so that it would be fun and kind of raise awareness as well. So I'm just going to kind of go through some of the days you can see here. Um, one of the things we're doing full um, week long is we have a canned food drive to actually help um, our community as well as promote Red Ribbon Week. So this year I know this has been really hard for a lot of people with the pandemic and um, there's a lot of food shelters that need assistance and so we're going to be doing um, Grace Works donations and um, I know they are super um, excited about that and then so that will be Monday it's we can say no to drugs so we're going to be focused on that Tuesday it's going to be team up against drugs so wear your favorite jersey or support your favorite team and then do you want to say the rest yeah sure and then wednesday is ready to be drug free so you're going to wear red if you wear red find me or miss higgins during lunch we're going to have a table with some free snacks and stuff so come find us we will also have a pledge that day that people can sign just to say that they're going to make healthy choices and be educated about what as the healthiest for their body and then Thursday is my future's too bright for drugs so you can wear neon bright colored clothes um, just make sure it's school appropriate and then Friday because it's the day before Halloween we actually got approved for everybody to wear their Halloween costumes or Halloween garb and um, it's say boo to drugs so you can wear Halloween related things just no full face masks um, you could just wear your COVID mask so no face coverings and stay in dress code and don't be offensive are you ready to search the school in hope of some great prizes? It's all about the Fall Hall Hunt Week, sponsored by Centennial Gives Back. Hello Centennial, I'm Sanguana Perez, and I'm here with... Olivia Wendossett. Nicole Varenkamp. And they're going to talk about the Fall Hall Hunt. Hunt. <laughs> okay, Centennial Gives Back is doing this little event called the Fall ha Hall Hunt. Basically, we've cut out a bunch of little paper turkeys, leaves, and pumpkins, and we've scattered them all over the school. And you get to find all these different little guys over the course of the week before Halloween, so the 26th to the 30th. And anyone can participate, juniors, seniors, sophomores, all the great guys. Yeah, so you'll find 35 cutouts, and once you have, um, you'll go to Miss Gossett's room, which is room 124, and there you'll turn them in to gain prizes, which is going to be a sweet treat, a hoodie, or a Chick-fil-A gift card. And then there are also certain um, cutouts that are like golden ticket cutouts. They will be marked, and if you find those, you can also go turn them in uh, to room 124 to gain your prizes. Okay. Thank you. That sounds like fun. <laughs> nice. If you're looking for some great new Cougar gear, get ready. New hoodies and t-shirts are going on sale. So tell me about the shirt. The shirts that PTSO are selling um, have the We Are Cougar Nation design. Um, I designed this when we were in, all of us were in isolation quarantine in the spring and there were a lot of events going on and things in the news that really affected me. And for me, art is a way to communicate how I feel and to work through things. And so I decided to make this design to kind of work through a lot of the things that I was seeing and, and how I feel about Centennial and that we are all Cougar Nation in here, um, that we're a family, we're a community. And so um, that's how this design came about. That was kind of my inspiration. Uh, the PTSO reached out to me and they wanted to put it on shirts to sell it. So it's gonna be coming out on shirts. Soon. Should people buy it? I think everybody should buy it because it's um, 
It's a great design, but I also think it really represents who we are as a school, as a community, that everybody belongs here, that everybody has a place here, and that this is all, this represents all of us. The Student Council is starting an important fundraiser. And this is good news for your sweet tooth. Hi, I'm Gabby Guy, and I'm here with Caroline Grossman. How are you spending Halloween? <laughs> okay, that's a great question, Gabby. One way that I'll be celebrating Halloween this year is by purchasing boo bags from oh, Student Council. Oh, do Council. tell. Yes, we will be selling bags of candy. I don't know if you guys are familiar with boo bags, boo bags. Um, but you can buy them for your friends or for yourself. We'll be selling them up until October 30th, the day before Halloween. Um, so come on down. The Friday. From, yes, come on down next week. Uh, we'll be selling them one for three dollars and two for five dollars. You can buy them for your friends and then we'll deliver them for, as a special nut surprise. free and not nut free yes. for the allergens out there. So bring your money next week and uh, support spread student Halloween Halloween festivities. Yes, for Halloween cheer. <laughs> Speaking of candy, Halloween is just a week away. And we wanted to know what kind of candy you wanted to see in your bag. Start over there. All the way down and just work our way back. Yeah, sure. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Candy cameraman? I like uh, caramels. Caramels? I hardly knew her. Do you guys want to be on the school news? You guys want to be on the school news? What are you asking? What are you? Okay, hold on. How do you want to set this up? Just do it. Yeah, what's up? What is your favorite Halloween candy? My favorite Halloween candy. Um, crunch bars. What, what's your favorite Halloween candy? Twix. Twix. All right. Do you guys want to be on the school news? Yes. All right. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Um, Twix. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Um, Starburst. Please give a different answer. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Candy corn. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're on the news. You, you. <laughs> What is your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, favorite Halloween candy would have to be candy corn. You heard it here, folks. We're going outside. We'll get you next. You too. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Reese's. What about you? He Heath bars. Heath bars. That's one for Heath bars. No one else said Heath bars. Who else? Bye. Who else wanted? To, who else wanted to be on here? All right, let's go. What's your favorite Halloween candy? I have to ask my name though, right? My name is Brady Diamond, and my favorite Halloween candy is Reese's. You heard it. Jackson loves candy. We're going to purposely miscredit your name. You have no power here. Signing off from Centennial High School, it's me, Cameron Moore. Now for this week's Game Spotlight. And this week, the spotlight is on you and your favorite game. I'm Gavin Picard, and I'm going to ask people what their favorite video game is. I'm here with... Tyson. And what would you say is your favorite video game? Uh, I really enjoy... Um, playing Overwatch. It's a really fun game. Thank you. I'm here with... Juliana. And uh, what would you say is your favorite video game? I would say Animal Crossing. <laughs> All right, I'm here with... Seaver. And what would you say is your favorite game? Terraria. And what about that game do you like? Um, it's, it has a lot of replayability value. I have a lot of hours into it, like a lot of hours. Me too. Like over a month. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm here with? Anthony Pope. And um, what's your favorite video game? Man 21, because I be beating Keegan every night. I'm here with? Ashna. And? Riley. <laughs> what would you say is your favorite video game? Among Us. Among Us. I'm here with? Jennifer. Jennifer, what, what's your favorite video game? Um, Probably PUBG. That's, 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 that's a good answer. That's a great answer. Thank you, Jennifer. I'm here with? 
John Mover. And what's your favorite video game? League of Legends. And why is that your favorite video game? Um, it's complicated, it's interesting. Lots of strategy? Yeah. yeah. That's part of it, yeah. I'm here with? Joshua Sims. What would you say is your favorite video game? Uh, probably Minecraft. Oh, wonderful. Why do you like it? It's just a really great game. It's been a great game for like the past 10 years. It's a go-to game. Thank you. This has been Gavin Picard with CHS News. Back to you. That's all our time for now. Have a great weekend and go Cougs.